Hey guys, I am back. I know it's been a while. I really have not been in the mood to record for, for quite some time now. Um, but I thought I would come back. Um, the stream that I did on the... I, th I think it was the 8th of uh, March. Well, I unfortunately lost that recording, so I can't really... I can't really provide an archive, but I will uh, record a demo of the two... Other games that I played on that uh, at at some point soon, so you guys can hopefully enjoy those. And um, anyway, what I'm going to be doing today, this is a game called Minefield. It's it's rather recent. I think it, it came out on Sunday or Monday. And basically, the idea is you're running around a grid dodging mines and monsters and things like that and grabbing items. Um, it's it's a decent little time waster. Uh, there are trophies that you can earn for doing various things, so that's, that's rather nice. And, of course, this is completely free. So, uh, without any further ado... Minefield Egg. Minefield. Items view list. Minefield.eggs. Dock controller, minefield.eggs. Hopefully the speech is slow enough. Date created, 4 slash 8 slash 2019 to Yeah, I, I think you should be able to hear that. So, I'm going to hit enter. Minefield. Uh, now, that means I've unlocked something, so let me hit the up arrow to just have it re... re-read that there. You have run this thing for the somethingth time. Hopefully you're first. But if you cleared your trophies, that ain't the case. Have this in light of that. Let me slow this down a bit. Rate 65. You have run this thing for the somethingth time. Hopefully you're first. But if you cleared your trophies, that ain't the case. Have this in light of that. Yep, so I have cleared my trophies list. Uh, this game stores the trophy data in the same place where the game is stored. It's a, it's called trophies.dat. I'm giving you this one because I hate removing tests that I place in games. So have this instead. Okay. And here's the intro scene. Use your up and down arrows to choose an option and press enter to select it. Start game. Okay, so we have the menu. Uh, the first option is start game. Play the mini game. Play the mini game. Test your speakers. Test speakers, that is extremely important. Trophy case. Out of the 50 to that there are, you have two available to you. I have two trophies. Exit the game. And exit. Start game. Play the mini game. Test your speakers. Let's test speakers. Hey there, is this coming from the left? Oh wait, this is the text? Never mind, this doesn't come from anywhere unless you can see or did something extremely weird to your screen reader. Uh, yeah, okay. That's another random little... achievement. This here is the left ear. And this here is the right ear. And finally, this is the center. Ow. No. Use your up and down arrows to choose an option and press enter to select it. Now, that is the one thing that you'll notice. Uh, a lot of this game is voiced using text-to-speech, which I honestly, number one, think it's too fast, and number two, it should be replaced by an actual, well, an actual person doing it. But that's just me. Start game. Play the mini-game. Test your speakers. Trophy case. Out of the 50 to that there are, you have... Let me show you the trophies. I guess there is that moment in time where people just need to check out certain menus. Take this one, for instance. Have this. Trophy case. Checking. Talking to you. This is a test. Running. Go back. Running. This is a test. Talking to checking. Talking to you. Checking. I guess there is that moment in time where I guess there is you just had to press enter. Like seriously? Ha, have, have this then. So you get another achievement when you hit enter on one. Trophy case. Looked at checking. Looked at it. You just had to trophy case. Looked at checking. Talking to you. Hey there. Is this coming from the left trophy? Looked at it. So you can hit enter. It will read it to you. You can press any of the arrow keys to have it read back to you. And when you're done, you just hit escape. Are you finally done looking at trophies? Well then, use your up and down arrows to choose start game. Play the mini game. All right. So let me show you the mini game. This is not particularly interesting, but yeah, here you go. Welcome to the mini game. You have to destroy all these crate door things. Good luck. So basically, you move left and right with the left and right arrow keys. 
the door sound you're hearing off to the right, that's a door. You want to be right here. And hit the space bar to destroy it. And you have to hit them a few times. So kind of good if you want to vent your frustration. Uh, not, not really that special. But, you know, it's it's there. So let's do one more. Let's do two of them, actually. And basically, you keep doing this until you're, until you're tired of it. And when you want to quit, you just hit escape. Use your up and down start game. All right, so let's, let's actually begin the game. Now, before I begin... Um, uh, I believe you have a certain amount of time to collect items before the boss appears. Uh, and I'm not sure what it is. I think it's like f five minutes, I think. Um, you are basically playing on a 100 by 100 board. So you use up, down, left, and right to uh, walk. Uh, pressing the letter C will tell you your X and Y coordinates. Uh, T tells you information about the game board and things that are on it. I, I will demonstrate that. Uh, one gives you your total playtime in seconds, and two gives you your time in your local time zone, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I think those are the main keys that you need to know. Play the mini start game. The other thing that I'll do is uh, I will put NVDA to sleep. Sleep mode on. Because I find that it cuts things off when I'm pressing keys and there are things that you'll want to hear. Upon cracking the box, I started the wonder. Wonder what it was. Wonder what it meant. There had been losable land across this field just for out of this world things. So I went. I went very quietly. What would this possibly mean for me? I wonder if this act was too for out of this world things. Let me now tell you my story. Charles, what you need help with, depending on your status and help needs, I might open this door. Hello there, lab manager Charles. I see that I have found this in your box in my backyard. I am not sure what it contains, but I do know that you may. Can you help? All right, the box. Give me that right now. I want it. So that happened. Now I'm here. In this mad thing, I've been here for a few days and I wonder what lies behind that door. I opened it and found, well, this. I guess I'll have to see if I can make it alive. Oh, I can only say good luck. Now go play. Alright, uh, that is an achievement when you begin to play. Let me briefly explain what, what was going on there because I know a lot of that might have just been. <laughs> Uh, one, one reason I really don't think they should be using text-to-speech, and s certainly not at that rate. But a anyway, I I digress. Uh, from what I can tell, you find some kind of box that's somehow important. It's not really clarified why, and someone decides to capture you, and now you're in a lab or something with a bunch of minds. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to walk around the uh, game board here. There are mines. You will hear them beeping. If you hit M, that will turn on the uh, mine detector, which is really useful because if you're getting too close to a mine, it will play a, a sound to uh, tell you, which is really handy because if you step on one mine, you are a toast. All right, so let's see how well I can do. I have not been able to beat this this game yet, so we shall see. All right, so I'm just gonna walk north, let's head east. 
This feature was made available by me, so I'm giving you this to show that you just need it to survive. Now go. Okay, so that's having it on. You just turned it off. Hopefully you can handle it. And you get another achievement when you turn it off. Let me show you what it says. Something? I was 14 when I got ideas for games like these. Then I started searching for BGT guides and learned. Take this as a random fun fact. And it's a fact that you survive in this cruel, cruel world for 14 more seconds. You know something? I was 14 when I got okay, ideas that's... for games like these. Then I mine detector has been turned on. Alright, so let me show you what happens when I get too close to this mine. You are just a bit too close there. It plays a nice heartbeat noise. So we're gonna leave that on. There are currently 24 mines, zero monsters, zero traps, zero items, and the board is currently 100 tiles wide and long. You have survived for a minute, technically. One more minute. Now that... That... That is a... Yeah, you got an item. Cool. Health boost. So health boost... That... Clunking... That clunking noise is a trap, I think. Which you can supposedly get the monsters to walk into them. That is an item. I think the sound is way too quiet. That's that clink, 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 clink. Sediment has been slowed down. Sediment is... I don't know. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it. That's the... That's one of the monsters that you'll be facing. Who is, uh... Quite profane, I might add. So if you are offended by... Such things as profanity... Oh no. Looks like Doom has called in his little minion. One more minute. Called in his little minion? Not sure what that is. Dr. Doom is apparently the boss, so we'll see if we get to him. You have been hit by an arrow. Hope you're happy. You have 388 health. Oh, no. You have 287 health. You can't really dodge those. Piss me off, you little fuckface. No, oh, shut up. You best wash out before I kick you off. Thank you. Speed up of the settlement. This is not good. Let me hit one. You are checking the time. How nice of you. This is so broken, BTW. You've been playing for 144 seconds. This con massive speed increase of the settlement. Uh oh. Let's hit two. 3.54 p.m. Ow. What, you have a mine. You have 85 health. You died. You cannot live anymore. You have zero health. You have zero health. Use your up and down start game. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, so as, as you can tell, this game is um, rather difficult. And I don't think it's quite polished, but... Considering what it is, I think it's actually really cool. So, let's try this again. 3.54 p.m. You've been playing for 23 seconds. This converts into zero minutes. Alright. The background is really eerie, too. So, we have to basically walk around and survive. And I think when it said the minion arrived, I think that means One more that, that guy Seven with the swarm. arrow... Oh, the guy with the arrow showed up. Showed up. Uh, now, the, the item... For a swarm means it has created multiple copies of that monster that walks around and curses you out. And um What's the matter the little shit about the business pants? Oh shit. No, I think not. Leave me alone. Oh really? Am I? I don't, but maybe you do. Speed up of the settlement. Oh. 
Now, oh. mine detector has been turned off. Mine detect one more minute. Speed up of the settlement. Health boost. Okay, that is a trap. Which I don't find very useful. Oh boy. Another detriment. Oh god, no. A mine. I'm gonna go. Massive speed in case of the settlement. Uh oh. You have 262 health. I need more health boosts. Up, another mine. So, yeah, the. You cannot currently destroy the enemies or dodge them. Another settlement. Oh god, no. Oh, no. Speed up of the settlement. One more minute. No. You have 62 health. Massive speed increase of the settlement. Health boost. Speed up of the settlement. Sediment swarm. Speed increase. Sediment has been slowed down. Help the outlaw. Massive speed at speed up of the settlement. You have 688 health. Okay, more health is good because... Because we cannot dodge the attacks of the arrow launcher. Up, another mine. A mine. Up, another mine. Did you even pay attention to where you were going? You just died. You retard. Maybe next time, try and listen to the beeps rather than like look for items or run from Dr. Doom. Uh, whoops. And they're still talking. I think that should cut off. There's like... There's a bunch of them. Awesome. I mean horrible. You literally ran splat into a mine. Like did you even pay attention? Use your start game. Let's, just, let's play one or two more rounds and then I think I'll quit because I think you get the idea. But I do want to see if I can actually beat this, because I really do like this game. Alright. So, we are going to get going here. La la la. So this is a, a relatively basic game, but it's a nice time waster that doesn't require too much in terms of processing. I mean, you do have to dodge things, but yeah, it's a, it's something different, and I just I like it quite a lot, actually. So I'm just gonna walk around. Another settlement. Oh god, no. Oh boy. Oh, let's, let's not walk into that. Massive speed increase of the settlement. Another settlement. Oh god, no. Help the outlaw. So when the sounds are at a lower pitch, that means that the items are behind you. So I'm just trying to keep away from these monsters. There are currently 27 mines, 3 monsters, 1 traps, 12 items, and the board is currently 100 tiles wide and long. Okay. Gonna come up, another here. mine? One more minute. You are no detective. You are no detective. Sediment speed has been randomly adjusted. It's the arrow launcher. Speed increase. A mine. Speed increase. Help the outlaw. Sediment has been slowed down. So now I'm running faster. Sediment has been slowed down. Sediment swarm. 
updated. Up another mine. You have 1,515 health. One more minute. Another settlement. Oh god, no. Fake. Speed up of the settlement. A mine. Up another mine. So there are lots of up items another mine. that will do various things. You've been playing for 199 seconds. This converts into three minutes. Up another mine. Speed up of the set fake. Another settlement. Oh god no. A mine settlement has been slowed down. Yeah, if you can even handle this guy, you will not ever have an actual life. Oh wait, you don't. <laughs> oh boy, so let me tell you that you have gotten massively owned by the developer yo, yo, of this yo, game. Yo, hey, uh, what's up? You want to get crushed for something because, you know, um, I'm free to do that anytime. Okay. Just Use your upstart game. Ah, <sighs> so I got hit by the, by the, um, by the arrow launcher, who is apparently the developer. Uh, so you don't want to walk into, into him or... The other monster thing that stomps around. Um, so let's. I'm, I'm gonna play this one more time, and if I don't get it, I will quit because I think you guys get the idea. But this is a very fun game. I think it's got um, a lot of potential, and I hope the development continues. Sorry about that. It was me scratching an itch. Do you wish that there was One a way minute. to get rid of mines? I mean, maybe not get rid of them all, but maybe if you get, like, a power-up that lets you do it. Although, I don't know. It's just me. Sediment swarm. Oh, boy. Up oh, another mine. Speed increase. Massive speed increase of the settlement. Speed increase. One more minute. It's a real shame you'll never be able to tell those people back home that you ever survived, because the big bad man himself has literally stomped on you. Oh man, seems like that one caught up to you. Use your up exit the game. Okay, well, fine. I guess everyone has to go at some point, am I right? Well, in honor of this, go ahead and leave. Minefield. Oh, let me show you something else real quick. Let's hit Use your up start on the game and let's hit escape. You are that lazy? You can hit the exit option? Are you serious? Okay, fine then. Yes, I'm serious. I am that, that, that lazy. Minefield. Audacity. So there you go. Uh, that is a quick look at, at Minefield. Uh, as you can tell, you know, it's a rather, um, a rather basic game, but, you know, it, it works pretty well. So, um, I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, I will be providing the, uh, link to the game in the video description so that you can uh, you can download it and uh, hopefully I
I will be posting uh, new stuff more more regularly, I hope. My problem is I just, I haven't been in the mood to do very much in terms of mm. games. And sorry that that's my phone going off with Skype messages. Um, but yeah, I know there are some things that I should get back to. Um, TDV, though, I may or may not come back to because the mission mode is honestly not that great. Uh, and I know you guys want me to play BK2, but uh, that I'm just like, oh, come on. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys take care, and I will be back. Bye.